Good morning. It's Tuesday, the 28th of August, and I get to go back to see my surgeon and possibly have the stitches removed from my knee where they did the reconstruction two weeks ago. Yay! Uh, this ought to be a ton of fun. Uh, so she's probably going to yell at me. I tripped and fell on it Sunday, and it bled a bit. I had to replace all the bandages and such. Not fun. On, other, on a fun note, though, for Sunday, and no, it's not what caused me to fall. The dog ran into my crutches and knocked me over. I've been waking up for months now at the same time every morning. Actually, I've been doing it for years. It goes with being in the Army. Or so I thought. This Sunday, as I will commonly do, I had turned off the alarm so I could sleep in. And as commonly happens, I woke up Actually, a little bit early. I woke up just ahead of when I normally get up during the week. And I heard my alarm, which was weird, because it was sitting next to me and off. But I could still hear it. Now, here's the entertaining part. We have a green-cheeked cardinal named Bedu. We got him for about four years. He has refused to learn a single word in the entire time frame. It is really annoying. And yet, guarding my crutches, opening the bedroom door, and sticking my head out, he has learned to perfectly mimic my morning alarm. The number of beats, exactly what it sounds like, the perfect duration, everything. So, I've actually got to wonder if it's my military training and just, you know, the ingrained indoctrination of why I wake up at the same time every morning, or if the little SOB isn't going off to respond to the alarm every morning, whether the alarm goes off or not. Yeah. He's moving to the other end of the house, and I'm actually going to try sleeping in sometime. <laughs> ah. The funny Sheridan out of the way, though, the Make-A-Wish Foundation has gotten in cahoots, gotten in league with the 501st Legion from Star Wars and the DentedHelmet.com, which I had no clue who was, but apparently is a you know, helmet and artistic design company. And they have assembled a collection of unique, one-of-a-kind Boba Fett and Clone Trooper helmets. Some of them wearable, others purely art, that are up for auction for the next four days, with all proceeds going to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. In case you don't know what the Make-A-Wish Foundation is, I included a link down in the description, so I want to bring that to you and up to your attention. Go take a look. So the price is really skyrocketed, but then again, They've actually got a couple signed by George Lucas himself. Or, in other cases, such as this one, it's actually signed by the ladies involved in such things as this Clone Wars comics and things such as that. Go take a look for yourself. I hope you have a wonderful day. And until I see you next time, and even after, I am the Articulate Grunt. Keep your heads down. Take care of yourself.